when Lucas Sitole tragically lost his legs and arm, um, he was a promising runner. At school, teachers thought he'd be one of their shining stars. When the accident happened in 1998, his family and friends thought it was all over for the young man. Little did they know he would rise to become South Africa's number one ranked wheelchair tennis player. We met up with Lucas when he qualified for the London Paralympics and spoke to him when he returned from England. Throughout 2012, Lucas Sitole worked tirelessly to achieve his goal of qualifying for the London Paralympics. He traveled far and wide, playing at numerous competitions to improve his chances. If you travel with him, you'll see there is, he doesn't see it as a problem. He just sees it as, uh, as his life and uh, there's no challenge too great for him to overcome. But every day is, is a new lesson in life and uh, Lucas also still has a lot to learn, but uh, uh, I'm also learning with him and especially in a, in a sport like wheelchair tennis, um, we're continuously looking for better ways to uh, find seating or, or his chair, his setup and uh, maximize things like that. And in August, he finally made it to the Paralympics. It was a dream come true. I was very happy, nervous at the same time, because of the crowd was massive. Yeah, but I enjoyed it. I can't even mention the, the feeling I had, you know, when they called my first match there. I was very happy. Even though Lucas didn't win any medals, it was certainly a wonderful experience for the KwaZulu Natal born athlete. I learned a lot, uh, like in, in the game, I think. You know, like I'm try, uh, trying to, to become about the, um, the places, you know, and uh, the, the competition too. Because it wasn't just a, a tournament, it was a big, uh, big tournament in the world. You know, it's not everyone who goes there, but are those who do best who goes there. And then, six months after Lucas Sitole's documentary aired, good news was to follow. Albina Hova is a moving portrayal of one of South Africa's leading sportsmen. <laughs> it's the story of Lucas Sitole from E! News Channel. On the 7th of November, it scooped the Association for International Broadcasting Award in the Best Short Documentary category. We wanted to show that there's quite a lot that comes out of South Africa. Of course, you know, we, we've got our problems, unemployment, crime, but we, you know, our show Against All Odds is about the side of South Africa that you don't usually see. Thanks a lot. Good luck with your job. That's it for this week. Join us again next time as we explore the lives of those who dare to dream. My name is Mpola Gaje. Cheers.